Hi, Regina. Um, Joy and I here. <laughs> we'll help you out as much as we can. I'm terrible at this, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, the first thing you do was import your photo and then um, make a background copy. So Control J or Command J. Click on it and then it'll make a background layer copy for you, layer one. And then you want to go up into select and we're going to mask this right now so go into select and then select and then mask and you can make it smaller or larger down here if you hit this you can make it fit the screen so you can see a little more just so you know or you can um, make it bigger by hitting this and clicking on it so you can get into different areas so right now we'll just fit the screen and then you want to um, hit quick selection tool upper left hand side and then what you're going to do is up here click, uh, click on select subject and you want to mask it first so you can just put a white background behind her so then you can do the gradients after that Okay, so see it selected most of it. Um, just so you know, too, up here in view mode on the right hand side up above, um, I have just an overlay so I can see what it looks like. You can also do onion skin, which looks like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it on a layer, you know, but I like the red because then I can see, you know, what it's doing. Okay, and I have it like at 42% opacity so I can still see her. Otherwise, you can go to the point where like this even but I like to be able to see with your feet and stuff if I need to rub stuff off. Okay. So I got most of it. So now I'm gonna make it bigger. Oops. And um size. Alright. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep subtracting from the mask. Here, I'm going to make it bigger so you can concentrate on some areas like her hands. Now, click you can click the refine edge tool, the middle one, and then just click on the color you want to remove, and it does a pretty decent job of getting it. So, that's pretty good, huh? If you if it gets too much, you can always go back and add again so don't worry about it. I'm going to make it a little smaller in this area. Okay. Like it may have gotten her finger a little bit but you can clean that up. Okay and then this stuff right here we'll get the black Oh, and I'm just left clicking on here just so, so you know. See how it just removes everything nicely? And then. Oh. Got her here for some reason, so I'm just going to click and drag this over her hair to bring it back. Yes, use a top tool. Let's we'll try that. Oops. Um, and add. <laughs> or subtract, I mean, from the mask. We'll get her hair back. That's kind of weird to do that, isn't it, Joyce? Oh, now it's add. <laughs> <laughs> I always go back and forth. It's terrible. Okay, let's just add her hair back. It's weird. I didn't do that last time. Poor Gina. She's like dying right now. <laughs> so incompetent. Okay, there's her hair. So now you can 
just click on these colors it'll now we're going to subtract again <laughs> and then just get rid of this again I'm just clicking on it just the white We just did that huh? now I'm with the refine edge tool again and we'll just run this over here. Run it along the edge of her hair and it will clean it up. If she would have just had like a white background behind her, or gray even, it would have just gotten rid of everything. Maybe white, because she has gray pants, so <laughs> I agree with my mother. Okay, I'm going to run it one more time on the hair. See, now it's masked most of it, and you're going to put a white background behind it, so I'm not that concerned about the edges. We can fix that, right, Joy? Then you can run it. Like, see, there's a little bit here. Just clean it up. And there's a thing here, so you just click on the white and it'll get rid of it. And fix this. Are you still one with one anyway? Yeah, let's you can use the bottom tool as well. This will just take off everything, so you have to be really careful where you click on it. Oops. Such Sub um subtract. If you miss it, you can always paint it back in, so don't worry about trying to be perfect. You can fix it. And then, Joy, you know how to like clean the edges up with your miraculous stuff, right? See, I'm just running it along the edge, Regina, of the... Thing. I think I can get rid of that color with this. This, yeah, this color is different enough that you can just use a top tool for that. <laughs> Alright, you can keep uh, going around. Now see here, it actually took part of her foot off. <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, see. If you make a mistake too, just um, Alt Control Z and it'll back up. It usually backs up. Or Control Z on here, I guess. Huh. That's weird. It's the other way for the other thing. Okay, so now you can hit, hit go on your top brush and then you're going to subtract, right? Add. And, and you'll get the foot back here. Masking is weird. <laughs> okay, there's your foot. That's a good thing. Get her. <laughs> Get rid of that. Now you can just keep going along, cleaning the edges up. This is the refine edge tool again, the middle brush. Alright, this will be. Control Z back over there. Okay, and then you can go to the bottom brush and get most of this out because it'll just erase it. And then go to the Top brush, you can paint that back in, and then the refine edge tool again. So clean up the edge. Yeah, uh, just paint this with only one brush. Okay, paint away. <laughs> Can't stand my slim again. Oh, I'm missing. Okay. 
select. Splash. When you have colors like this that are really close to each other, you just gotta do it with a normal brush or something else to do. A lot of people like to work with small brushes, but I like to make it large whenever I can because it gives you <laughs> it gives you a cleaner edge a lot of the time. Yeah, I I use a larger brush too. It's funny. As I long as it do. fits, <laughs> the bigger the better. Oh, look at that precision detail. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna drink my coffee and watch. <laughs> oh, I missed the top of her. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think Sue just painted it in her head. Like the background. Alright, what happened? I just. Went just drag it at the bottom. Just drag it at the bottom. Uh, if you this? push it, no, no, no. Uh, this? Does it what the heck? Your computer is goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Why does it do that just from retouching the touchpad? That freaks me out. Mm -hmm. You must have, there must be, oh, you know what, there's scroll bars enabled on your touchpad. I turned that off on mine so long ago, it drives me batty. Oh, really? That's why it does that? I think so. I always wonder because sometimes it does that with me too, but I never knew why. Oh, all these little wrinkles. I think I'm just going to get larger and then get more. The top of the thing. Oh, yeah, it's not done. I think it's good. All Why does it do that? Oh boy. <laughs> the good news is if you learn how to work in these pictures you will be able to mask anything in your world because this is one of the worst types of background to mask that exists. Got all these colors that match your subject. Got all these geometric shapes. It's the worst kind of stuff to try to get rid of. Alright, well, why does this computer keep throwing a fit every time I use a shortcut? I don't know. It's a baby. <laughs> it's constantly <laughs> ringing. I know. It adds to the um, ambiance. Yeah, it's your dog. Middle brush, middle brush. Or no. Middle top brush. brush, top brush. 
I don't think he's a good orc. Oh, yeah. Let's find out. It's, it's yeah. different. Oh, oops. Add, subtract. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's too uh, close. Yeah, it's too close. That's alright, because this is a... This is almost a straight hey, line. can you anyway. lasso and use a lasso tool to... What? Can you use a lasso tool? I'm just wondering to, uh... Lasso an area and mask it? I'm just wondering. Mm, I've never tried so. it. I've seen it, but I have masked it. I've never it used work? it. Uh, what? what? I guess. <laughs> I always oh do my that. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. What am I hitting that's reversing this? I, I don't. I don't shift. You just mask. You just hit this. Stop. You don't have to shift. Clicking. You don't shift. You just click on this. That's it. Shift normally makes a straight line with the brush tool. Why the hell isn't it working in here? I have never even used that. So I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> that. That that's a really unfortunate shortcut to be missing in here. Why that? Cause it reversing. I don't know, but you don't press shift ever. Just uh. That's not good. <laughs> that's not fair, Photoshop. What are you doing to me? Oh, and you could have just drawn a line. That's really yes, bad. I could have just drawn a straight line across this. Oh Next man. tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a ruler tool and stuff hidden in there. Oh, perfect. Ugh, look at that mm, masking job. It's not perfect. Very it's nice. close enough. Yeah, you can always refine the edge. I don't know if I trust it, but sure. <laughs> we could totally do that. Uh, great. Ooh, that looks nice. The background that we're putting is going to be close to these same colors, right? Yes. Okay, well then we don't have to worry that much about everything being... 100 percent. Yeah, um, a grayer gradient by her on her feet and the really light color behind her. Behind her, yeah. So that'll be good. That's good. I Otherwise think we can get, get away, away with, with that. that. Yeah, I think so. Too. So you know, oh, and come you, on. Are <laughs> you used to all your shortcuts? <laughs> yeah. Why don't all the shortcuts just work in Quick don't Mask? No. This is irritating. This is one of the most annoying things I've ever experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the scroll bar dragging, the scroll bar dragging is the worst. <laughs> that just makes me angry. <laughs> we have words for that. We call them flash instead of. A bunch of words. You do photography. You have to use the appropriate. It's your thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I I'm so much more used to just masking on top of the layer where I can use all my normal brush painting shortcuts. They're just not here. Also, what is going on with her foot? Oh man. Oh yeah. The mask did not like her foot. Ooh, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom color will be, um, <laughs> yeah, true. <cool. laughs> so yeah, it could be lovely green. If the other lady did it, see. I wonder if it'll let me just paint this back in. Should, right? Mm. <laughs> it really doesn't like me. Yeah, it's much closer. Go. Oh, I hate that the way that that bottom thing pops up, too. That also makes me crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, now you're speaking to me. Awesome. You probably, well, no, maybe you're here, but not there. Mm, I'm trying so hard to get this play nice with me. You're doing an awesome job. <laughs> it's nice you're watching someone else <laughs> say it. Painting, and I've been doing lately. 
Yeah. Now I'm doing like white or gray sheets. You know, people that use those backgrounds for you know, sheets. Backgrounds. Oh man, you saw that pixel around. That makes me crazy too. Pixel grid? Yeah, when you zoom in, and then suddenly you can't see your pixels because it has that gigantic just grid around every single one of them, like that's somehow helpful. I don't even know what people use that for. Oh, yeah. I don't either. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to black and white so that I can actually see all the stuff that I missed. And for example, we don't want the background here. Mm -hmm. The you switch the um you can see the black and white with view mode, just hit black and white, Regina. In case you missed that. Oh nice. I've actually never done the black and white. Really <laughs> yeah, it's really good for showing you stuff that kinda of matches the red where you can't tell if you got something or not. Awesome. So you can see if there's any Ooh, look at that. That's how really it's good. <laughs> yeah, alright, that mask looks good enough to me. Alright. So we're gonna hit okay.